Hello friends, it's Lindy Tate from Tater Buggin. How's everybody doing today? Y'all come on into the studio. We're gonna create some pretties today, I hope. And get going down here. If you're watching on replay, please comment, um, say hello, hashtag replay, or let me know if you're new so we can welcome you. And if you're watching on YouTube, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel. Maybe hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Am I live? I don't see me. Maybe I'm not really here. And I'm just talking to myself. It's going to be... Is it going to let me go live? Come on. Come on. Looks like I'm here. Yes, they're my friends. Okay, I can see y'all now. Hey, Regina, Cindy, hey, good afternoon. Hey, Lisa and Rose, Michelle, hey. Hey, Opa, y'all come on in. Hey, Tammy. Um, and if you're watching later on YouTube and you don't want to hear all my hellos to my sweet friends, you can fast forward through it, but I like to say hi to all my friends that are coming in today. Hey, Betty, I'm glad you're here. Hey, Linda. Yeah, I'm talking to myself, aren't I? It's been a crazy couple of days, y'all. Oh, my goodness. Hey, Penny. Happy Tuesday. Hey, Tina and Brenda. Patty's here. Judy Zeppa. Hey, Judy. Hey, Deborah. Sorry, I just got home from the doctor. I just got on. I hope you're doing okay, Janice. Hey, Donna. Hey, Becky. Good, Wendy. I was afraid there for a few minutes. It was like I was just hanging out by myself. <laughs> hey, Patty. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much, Deborah. That's so sweet of you. Hey, Marilyn. Judy's already sending stars. Thank you so much, Judy. Uh, they're doing good, Regina. Thank you. Um, hey, Pat. Forgive me for... It's been craziness getting all the invoices out. And with everything that, I, I, it was insane. Uh, when I scheduled the auction, I did not remember that not only did my mom have an appointment yesterday, but my stepdad did too. So me and Mr. T had to uh, tag team. He took my stepdad, I took my mom. And then, thank you, Robin. This is, a, this is one of my newest Bell Lilies. I like this one a lot, it's very comfortable. Hey, Karen. Thanks, Betty. Well, y'all, I was, y'all are so sweet. You're making me feel good. I, I had taken my mom. Luckily, it was just a little follow-up appointment. It didn't last long. And when we were leaving there, I said, is there anywhere you need to go? You know, anything you need to pick up while we're out? Anything you want to do? And she said, no, I haven't planned on doing anything today. It's okay. I said, well, do you want a treat? Do you want a coffee? Do you want some ice cream? And uh, she said, well, I just ate lunch before I left, so I'm not really hungry. And I said, okay. I said, I'm gonna run through Starbucks and get a coffee. I, I had such a headache and I was so tired yesterday. And I looked it. <laughs> and so I had to drop by the pharmacy on the way home to get my stepdad's new prescription. And I was talking to the pharmacist at the window when my phone started ringing, it was probably about a few minutes after two yesterday. We're sitting there and it was my hairdresser. So I was talking to the pharmacist, so I let it go and I grabbed my appointment cards out because I thought, why would she be calling me? She texts me a lot, but um, hey, Lucille, thank you. Thank you, I'm just rambling on telling y'all about my day yesterday. Hey, Jerry, so I look. I had a hair appointment at two o'clock yesterday. Did I know that? Mm -mm. I did not remember mom's until Mr. T reminded me on Saturday. And I thought, what am I gonna do? And it was a, you know, I didn't wanna do that to her. It's not fair, you know, but I looked at my mom. I said, what is wrong with me? How am I not keeping up? So Pat, this is explaining why everything, <laughs> you know, I had to apologize to you. 
So she said, do you think you could be here by 2.30? And I said, Karen, it takes me 25 minutes to get there, you know. But she, I said, I, I don't want to mess up the whole rest of your day. And she said, no, come on and just, you know, let me know when you're just about here. I think I made it in record time. And I didn't get caught. <laughs> but I was so tired. So I didn't get home until... 4.30 or so and had not sent any invoices out, I don't believe. And mm, Hey, Sherry. So that was my saga from yesterday, and I was just so tired. So, anyway, before I start yakking about something else, I'm going to get started. Uh, oh, Beth, thank you for being so sweet about it. Hey, Michelle, just got home from going to lunch with Oh, how fun. Stuffed and sleepy. I'll probably put you to sleep. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Elizabeth. Oh, okay. So, paintbrushes. I was so excited about the paintbrush Saturday that, that went with my piece in the event. Uh, hey, Kathy. It's better now that I'm with my friends. Thank you so much. So, we're going to try doing a little... You can call them altered paintbrushes. You can call it mixed media, whatever you want to call it. Um, you can use any size. You know, I did a little one. I think it was the maybe the one inch that was in the auction. I should have brought it with me in here in case y'all hadn't seen it before. But we're going to work on one of these, at least one today. Hey, Lori. I'm glad you're here. So, I have stuff because I wanted to have it, hopefully. Do you really, Michelle? Well, thank you. We'll talk about that, but while I get to crafting. Um, I want to use a lot of different elements. So as I was, and I've got three paintbrushes. It'll just depend on how much, how fast I can do them. I have an idea for this first one. So we'll get started on it first, and then we're, we'll play. Thank you, Betty. Y'all really, y'all showed up and showed out again for us, and we just appreciate it so much. Hey, Brenda and Vicki. Hey, Christine. So, all I'm going to do for this one to start out, and don't let anybody blast me right off the bat, but I am going to use plaster. I have a little plan for this one, and then we'll get out another one, and I'm going to kind of get you to help me. I've got a few things we can use, and you can kind of help me design it. Because I have a few in my head, and... Um, this one I'll start out with easy, and it should go pretty fast. And then y'all can tell me what elements you want me to use in the others. So, I didn't know I had a hair appointment. Don't throw away your paintbrushes. It, and if the, the grosser and more used they are, the better. If they're rusty, you go the grunge steampunk route with them. Um, these are just new ones I had, but I really wanted to run out today and get um, a three inch paintbrush, but I didn't have time. I didn't even get to do my class today, y'all. So um, yeah, I had something come up this morning that I hadn't factored into the equation and I just don't wanna do those classes when I'm rushed. So I'm hoping y'all don't mind that I moved our owl class to Thursday at one. So, um, yeah, I had this hair appointment yesterday that I didn't know about. I didn't realize it. You know, I've been going to her for so many years. We're good friends now, and um, I'm, I usually make appointments two ahead. You know, she does about five weeks in between, and she just gives me appointment cards, and I've got to find a better way to remember it. <laughs> but she told me to come on in, and it was the all over head day do your whole hair kind of day. And so I had her do it like she did last time because I really liked that color. But when you keep adding low lights in, you know, it gets darker and darker. And, uh, oh, thank you, Linda. You're so sweet. Do you think so, Jane? Okay, well, see, that's, I wanted y'all's opinions because women tell each other. We'll tell each other. Girl, you don't, mm -mm that's not working on you or whatever. Now, I appreciate any friend who will tell me that and be honest with me. Um, so, I worried, oh my goodness, it's so dark. You know, when she took that towel off my head, um, I thought, did I, 
oh, is this okay? Am I gonna, you know, look older? You know, this time of year, I mean, this time of life, you're just not wanting anything to kind of tip you over the edge, but um, I thought, well, it's just hair, and if I wanna add a few little light pieces back in next time, it's fine, but I, I was glad I was going live today so I could get y'all's opinion. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Y'all are just making me feel so good about it. Thank you. It was way too light. When I look back now, it was way too light. It just, you know, mm. if I had my way, I would rather, thank you, Vicki. Y'all are just sweet. Uh, I would rather just have it natural. This is more my natural color. But it's, I don't know how to describe it. Two of my aunts went you know, quit coloring their hair, and they just turned the most beautiful silver white. And my mom and another one still have, you know, just that sprinkling of um, gray. And if I knew I could quit doing all this and it would just be like Elizabeth's hair color, I would so do it. I would do it in a heartbeat. Marsha, that I would embrace. I would embrace the gray if it was just not like mine is it's thank you arlene do you think so wendy oh thank you okay so how old are you now beth if i can ask you let it go at 55 see that's a good time to do it i wish i could i talked with the next lady that came in after me hers was so pretty and she said that Karen had talked her into just going her natural color. I said, if mine looked like yours, I would go natural in a heartbeat. Well, I'm going to now, Bob. Uh, is it? Yeah, Bobby. Um, I was talking to Trish this morning, and that's what she does. You know, that's the smart thing to do. And I had apparently put mom's. What I need to do is get it to remind me. Um, like a day ahead instead of 15 minutes before I need a little notice I have I have a weekly planner everything hey Tony Tony I got I don't know if I told you or not but I did get your invoice out to you finally yesterday and as of um, right now I have invoiced everybody that has sent me their information so and there's only two I haven't heard from so that's that's wonderful I know, Vicki, that's so pretty, and uh, I even, I love the color of Mr. T's hair. I love it. Love his gray beard. Oh, it would, it would save me a lot of money and a lot of time if I didn't have to deal with it. There's going to be one day that I just say, forget it. And, uh, but if it's, you know, it's going to be like my mom. I love her. I mean, it looks fine on her, but but I can't do that really light anymore. Y'all are right. I just was hoping I hadn't gone too dark. Hey, Sherry's Creative Designs. How are you? I'm so happy you're here. Do we have any other creatives who are on right now? I know Elizabeth's on. Y'all drop your links. Am I back? That was rude. I was talking to y'all. I wish Facebook would quit doing that to me. All right, let me get my Mod Podge out. I'm gonna show you what I was doing. Yeah, I got, well, I gave up my nails. That was a hard one. I didn't. I never went to the manicure. I never would go have them done. Um, but um, I used to do my own gel nails at home. They were my actual nails, but it was, you know, the gel polish, and I had the little UV thing, and um, I just did it at home. The polish lasted three weeks, as hard as I am on my nails, and then all of a sudden, it was just like three months ago, I could feel what felt like my nails being loose from the nail beds, and it scared me. So I took the gel off. They were a mess. It damaged my, um, the nail matrix down here. So now I have some lumps that are having to grow out. It was a mess. So I keep cutting them and keep taking care of them in hopes that uh, I didn't just totally ruin them forever. 
Okay, let me just get this situated where I want it. This is that beautiful napkin that we love so much. See that it's gonna have that pretty writing on the handle. Hey, Janet. You've had, we'll continue that and hope for the best with, yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Had to go, yeah, I just had to get back to closer to my natural color for sure. It was just, it had gotten too light. Um, natural gray like four years before I did. <laughs> now that I was going to say, I bet they love it now, don't they? That's great. Uh, you know, hearing stories like that makes me um, feel like I'm going to get brave enough to do it. You know, Elizabeth did it, and oh my goodness, I think her hair is so gorgeous. But she's got great hair. Mine is, I've got thick hair, but it's really fine. And uh, so gotten curly. It has to change on me every couple of years just to keep me on my toes. Ah, hey Linda. So I didn't, I was talking too much. Y'all tell me what you thought about the event Saturday and were there things that we could change or improve on, things that you absolutely loved about it? Payment can't be completed for the moment. Oh, Tony, don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it. You know, things are just glitching a lot lately. So, it, that's usually one of those things where you just wait a little while and it'll work itself out. Look how pretty. Already, that's pretty. So, we'll build up on that. It has made my hair so much healthier. I bet. Yes, I bet. So many people did that during that time, Sue. Everybody was inside. Hey, Tanya. Everybody was inside and, um, you know, it worked out. And so by the time everybody could go outside again, y'all were looking fabulous. That would be the way to do it. We're gonna see how this looks. I'm just going to cut out one of these little birds. Saturday was great for... Oh, thank you, Betty. Thank you so much. We really wanted it to be. And, you know, to, the we, I just thought the ladies did such a great job. They, I mean, they brought their A-game. Those creations were awesome. Everybody's was just wonderful. Um, and I'm not talking about me. When I let it go... It was fine. I just looked like a grandma. <laughs> yeah, she made you a grandma, didn't she, Melissa? <laughs> no. Yeah. Yeah, that was Melissa I was talking to. Hey, Barb. How are you, my friend? This napkin is from one of my sweet tater bugs, that the na and it's escaping me right now. But they sent me these napkins. I loved them so much, I ordered some on Amazon. It was these, right? Yes because I just love this napkin. I have used it on lives before. It just, oh, thank you, Regina. I'm so glad. Okay, I just wanna see how I wanna go about this. And I may not even do the bird, I don't know. Cause it's a little big. So let's see, let's get into our goodies. Now, Elizabeth, I don't know if I can do this. Let me tell y'all, and I've got this stuff out on the on my table too. I, Elizabeth gifted me some um, paper clay. I didn't know you had to put it on whatever you were putting it on while it was still wet before it hardened. So I had these little extra pieces. Um, but I'm wondering, since this paintbrush is flat, why couldn't I glue that on there and, well, we would paint it first 
and then glue it on there. Maybe a soft, soft pink. That's an option. Wait a minute. We're gonna let's have options. We can go with some, you know, adding some little. See these little silver beads, um, ribbons. Oh wait, I know one. Look, we can even do this. Because I would like to do a really feminine one, and then I would like to do one that's like grungy and go a whole different route with, with it so we can see all the different ways. Isn't that pretty on the bottom of that? I like that. You can glue to a flat surface once dry. Great. So you're staying out here. I might need you. Let's add this pretty little piece. Good, Judy. I like that too. That's I'm I'm going with that one because that looks pretty. When I grow up, I want to be. Able, oh no, you don't, Joe. <laughs> You're so funny. Why on earth? Uh, that is so sweet. Oh, I like that. That's just the perfect little touch. And y'all, I had another story I wanted to tell y'all about. Oh, Denise, really? Nine years old. Oh, happy birthday to him. Hope he has the best birthday yet. Y'all have a busy rest of the day, because let me tell you, Ellie's Attic's going to be on at 5.45. This is, these are all central times. At 6 o'clock, Lee Lexi Creations is having her first ever auction. So I'll have two, uh, two devices going. Support my peeps. Um, Debbie at Crafting and Grace is going to be on at... I'm back again. Lindy, you need to watch. I'm going to, Michelle. I'm absolutely going to. I'm so honored she's here. Okay, there we've got our little lace at the bottom. Let's see what else. Now, I have... This is kind of fun. I got out this... I saw this old necklace I've had for a million years. It's like a it's one of those $5 necklaces. And it has all of these little charms. There's a high heel shoe, a heart. Look at this little purse. What if I cut, I'm going to cut those off and kind of see what they would look like on here. I know, Melissa, something's going on today. Hey, Carrie, I'm so happy you're here. You and your daughter look more like sisters than mom and daughter. You look so young. Let's see if I can just cut this. Very ladylike. Y'all know I, I kind of love that. The soft feminine look. When I'm creating. That was real soft and feminine. <laughs> I'm going to decide which side I like better. And let's take this off. Those are, I don't even know that those are metal. Um, Well, that's pretty sweet. Um, can y'all kind of see that with the, the little purse and the shoe? Is it too much? Should I put a layer? Does, doesn't it, Cheryl? I love it. I've got, and I 
uh, don't throw much away, so. Where did the bird go? He's right here. He was, he was too big for my paintbrush, but he'll get used. So, I also have Miss Work. I'm looking forward to seeing the daytime crafters. Oh, good, yeah. I know I keep freezing. I'm very sorry. That little hole. All right. Did y'all like the? Did you like these on? Hey, Janet. That's kind of sweet. And I'm thinking I've even got um, this little butterfly. Nope, y'all can't see that. This little Tim Holtz, it came in some an ephemera pack. We can have a little butterfly on it. I do too, Judy. Now there's some times, you know, I, I like steampunk. Uh, we're gonna do another, you know, like a darker, more grungy one. Um, today too if I don't talk too much. I know mine does too, Christine. I'm sorry. It may be my end today. I don't know what's going on. I like I'm kind of hanging off like that. And yeah, we're gonna we do it like that. Oh, that I think is gonna be sweet. I think I'll use a combination of the E6000 and hot glue on this metal piece, just so it'll stay. <laughs> I usually do, Carrie. I usually just talk away. So, y'all, if you were watching the auction the other day, I was watching Rudy like a hawk. It was the weirdest thing. These are, um, I don't know, the past few days have just been crazy kind of crazy weird. I had gotten up, I had been working in my chair with my laptop, got up, went to take my shower. And uh, Mr. T was sitting in his chair right there in, in the room. I took, you know, a 10 minute shower and I overheard talking. And so I knew Chris was home and he and Gerald were talking was listening and and they were you know kind of back and forth and I could hear kind of a I don't know a little bit frantic tone um, and I heard him walk by I mean I had literally just walked, stepped out of the shower and um, I said what's going on he said uh, all of a sudden Rudy is covered in and I think it's a word that might get me flagged, but the red stuff that courses through your veins. I said, what? My heart skipped a beat. I got my robe on real quick. I came flying out of there. They're frantically looking out in the backyard. They're looking at the house. He's an indoor cat. Let me pause my story to hold that up and see what you think about this. That's coming along. Don't you think that's kind of cute? Really girly girl? Oh, we're, I'm missing stuff. Okay, y'all are helping Patty. Good. Are you finding out what kind of procedure? Now, I want to see what it's like. I want to just add paint down here. Probably should have done it before I added those, that ribbon. Yeah, we were really scared because he's an indoor cat. And I said, no, wait a minute. This, this, is, this is nonsense. I, he was just there. He was just fine. It was all down here on him and both front legs. And he was just taking a bath. And Chris was checking him over. He seemed to feel fine. And I said, how could Rudy, Rudy rarely goes out the doggy door. And if he does, he just sits right there on the deck and just looks at the world for a few minutes and then comes back in because Sarge won't let him stay out long. He knows he's not supposed to be out there and he babysits him. So I said, he didn't have enough time to sneak out, learn how to kill something, swallow it, and then get it all over him. We were looking everywhere. So I like that with a little paint on it at the bottom. 
What else could I add? Um, wait, let me see here. All the things. I have these pretty little beads. I have these little beads. Oh, let's do that. That goes perfectly. Anyway, it took all day for us to figure it out. He was fine. We couldn't, he, he acted himself when he doesn't feel good. He goes upstairs and he just tucks into the closet or under the futon. And um, that's when we know he's not feeling good. You see the little bead that I put at the top? All right, so I'm just, I, I, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna set this aside here for a second and we're gonna start another one and then we'll decide if we wanna, you know, add something to this. But I think, how cute would that be? Get a little um, rectangle frame or a small canvas and attach this to that. Wouldn't that be pretty? Just as a piece of art? I kind of like it. I do too. Yeah, I want those bristles painted. And in fact, yeah, I want to, that's the wrong brush. I got to not get my brushes mixed up. I want it on the bottom too. So that's why I'm saying if, even if you have old paint brushes that are caked with paint, you know, that you didn't, you forgot to clean out after a project or something, this would be perfect for those. Kind of, you know, make them all messy. Um, so anyway, as I sat down right before the auction, well, I was doing some uh, computer work again. Had things I had to do. Um, uh, I saw a little, um, it was like his little footprint, very lightly, it was pink. Oh, well, I forgot to say that as we looked around, Chris found like a little, little puddle of the red stuff. And, you know, just kind of in an odd place. It wasn't like it was dripping, not enough to be all over him like that. We saw, um, another two, uh, one more little drip. And... I finally figured out, long story short, because I stepped on it barefooted. When he was eating, something happened and one of his teeth fell out. And so after he eats, he always cleans himself up and he, you know, licks down here, of course it <laughs> was down here, and uh, all over his front legs. He was fine, but he had lost a tooth and he's still okay. So thank you, Lord, for that because it scared us half to death. <laughs> Chris couldn't figure out what on earth was going on. Came on he came home and uh, there was this cat covered, looking like a gruesome scene, you know. <laughs> so I was just glad we got it figured out before the auction, but I was that's why I was watching him like a hawk to see if he was okay and everything. I think it would look really pretty in a frame, yeah. Yes, dig out those paint brushes now, those that you um, neglected. And Okay, so for this one, let me just tell you kind of the way I'm, I'm thinking of going. We've got both primitive and vintage um, uh, chalk paints. Can you tell the colors? This is more of, this was the color we painted the dragonfly's body, and it's just that, uh, it's a grayish color. Yes, he's all right. He's just fine. It hadn't stopped him from eating, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm sorry, Melissa. Hey, Sherry. This one is like a, uh, this is the color I painted the one that was sold in the auction. It's a blue-gray. Now, what I was thinking, here's what I have set out. Look at these cute little pieces I pulled out of that Tim Holtz ephemera. It's just a little bitty old photo. I was Im imagining having an old photo on it. I've got a few more little butterflies. Look, so cute. Look at this little letter that we could put on it. So we could go kind of that vintage look, or we could go with 
Um, I've got some of these from Paper Studio. We can put some of our gears and um, where are my gears that I had out? I put them in a plastic bag. Or, you know, I have these pretty little rag flowers. Um, I thought we could dangle some ribbon from the from the bristles. Hey, Carol. Hey, Robin. Do it vintage. Okay, let's do that. And then I want to put some uh, wax, dark wax on it. I had thought I would um, use, now Elizabeth let me borrow her molds. I even thought about making a paper clay mold to put right here. Wouldn't that be cool? But then we have to wait overnight to let it dry. I mean, that's okay. I've got three paint brushes here, but we've got gears. Look at this. I dug through my uncle. I told y'all a million times. My uncle owns a watch repair shop. And um, I think so too, Pat. Um, he saves me all these little watch parts. Look how old that is. That would be fun on it. Here's another one. Isn't that pretty? So we could use those. Hey, Nancy. Oh, that would be cool, Regina. I could put the, um, the gears and stuff on it and make it a little more... We'll see how this one turns out. We'll see. I may even add um, some silver or this kind of this color stickles to our first one because it kind of fits with that. I've even got my silver rubbing buff out. We might, might want to add to that. I don't know. So let's go on and paint this. asking for prayers. I've had another bad fall. And I hit the floor and my chest got a big bruise and I got a Oh, have you been to the doctor to see about it? Libby, that's terrible. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I love stickles too. Vintage would be cool, Sherry. I love those watches. Oh, I love those watches. And if I used the gears, some of the gears, those watches would go great with them. So we, we may put some, we may really bling this out. I love creating with the watch parts that, that he saves for me. I can see one of these where uh, you could um, take our little paper flowers and put them all on here and have them coming down the handle and then paint over them all one color or oh, I just think it would be so pretty. You know how Amanda can make them look like plaster, you know, like they were made on it. Yes, you are in our prayers, Libby, for a, a speedy, uneventful recovery and please take good care of yourself. Ugh. You know, when you're a kid, you just fall down all the time and you bounce right back up and you go back and play and you get grown and you don't bounce anymore. And falling is hard. Y'all know I've, I've fallen a couple of times. That day I tried to get Bo in the shower and oh, I messed myself up. Thank you, Tony. Yeah, he scared us. Isn't that a pretty color? It's not really blue, it's not really gray, it's just a really pretty color. And I think this will look really pretty antique waxed. Yeah, we sure do. And Patty, I'm gonna go back and read about your, this procedure you're having tomorrow. I hope it's not too bad and you'll be back on your feet soon. So did I finish telling you the lineup? There's uh, Debbie with Crafting and Grace. Um, it's at 7, 6.30 or 7. 
Y'all, uh, I'll make sure we share her in our Memphis Bells group. And then Amanda Maid's on at 7.30. So we're going to be busy. We're going to be glued to our devices. Oh, Nancy. Uh, Libby, this color's called um, Vintage. I'm going to hold up the bottle. I found it at um, Pop Shelf, but I'm sure someone else probably carries it because it's by Deco Art, and it's their chalk paint, and I love it. It's like $5 at Pop Shelf for this big old container of it, and both of these, these are the two I got um, there. This one's uh, Primitive, and this one's Vintage. Have more patience. Ah, uh, okay, Tanya. Thanks for popping in when you can, though. So, I also have that. These came from a sweet tater bug. These cute little tags. Look how sweet these are. They all look different. And, you know, you could hang one of those off of one. This just, this one just looks like a letter. I think that's sweet. And so you can just layer them on there. I'm going to leave that one out. I may want to use that. A while back in our art journaling um, group, I had made these little hanger things. Kind of mixed media. That one says dream. Had a, believe it or not, the tags are made out of um, toilet paper rolls. I have uh, create. You know that would be that would be something you could hang from a ribbon on one of these. There's just so many options, but I love look. See, I have this whole container of like watch, old watches and watch parts that I love to dig in and use. We yeah. have that's pretty cool. Let me show y'all how that looks. But we'll see how it all goes together. But that might be something fun. This is totally dazzled. Oh, did you, Sarah? Well, you're ready then. I'm going to get a three-inch brush, and I am going to go to town on it because I think that would be fun. So I think before I do anything else, I want to see how it looks with some of this uh, Waverly Antique Wax on it. Oh, were you asking where? Oh, Patty, no, you know where I live. Huh? You must be talking to Regina. You can buy that paint at Joann's. Okay. See, I don't have a Joann's. The closest Joann's to me is uh, at just 45 minutes away. And so I love Joann's, but I don't get to go there very often because I'm hardly ever out that way. It's close to where Elizabeth lives. How do I want to do this? Let me think. I think I'm going to use a um, baby wipe if I still have any. Where are my baby wipes? I hope y'all can see this table. Thank you. I have, these are, um, let me get it right. A pair of my Love and Life jewelry earrings. I love her jewelry. Y'all know that. Trish Thomas, Love and Life. Um, don't y'all love that she does the gem of the day now? I get excited every day to see what she's going to um, put out. And she tells the backstory of how she designed it and what, the, what she named it and all. I think that's so fun. Yes, it is, Elizabeth. Um... You wouldn't think so, but yeah. Oh, I like this on here. Oh, y'all. Oh, this is pretty. Oh, don't you love it when something works out? The thing is, Elizabeth, where I am, 
there's no real, of course you know this, there's no real good way between Bartlett and Germantown. You know, it's gonna, it's gonna take you a minute, no matter which way you go. Germantown Parkway is craziness. I cut, I cut back, um, like you were talking about doing through, um, Shelby Farms back in there and come out on Trinity and that cuts off some of it, but then I get out to Poplar and have to go out Poplar. I really like that. What do y'all think? I'm grounded because of you in this black suit. <laughs> I know, they're so good. Brother Taterbuggin had to get one. How about that? <laughs> Is that even a thing? <laughs> Jody. <laughs> I think that would be really pretty, Nancy. I've got to I've got to be on the hunt, on the lookout um for a pretty shadow box for these. And you know what I think I'm going to do? Let's let's do this. Uh doing on time. We're doing okay. When I was thinking about going with that first paintbrush doing the bird theme, I even got some Spanish mo no, moss, just some green moss out. Um, I thought it would be pretty to add around the edges, you know. I didn't get to see it last night, but I saw it this morning, Cheryl. It was really pretty. I was I commented on that. I really love that. That was pretty. I have a little United States cutout too. Um, I could do something similar to that and just play. I love mixed media. Y'all know that. You like that? That kind of cool to go with our, um, thank you for sprinkling, Monica. Blackstone was telling them about your lives. Chris Tate, let me tell you, he went to Kroger yesterday. You know, yesterday was his day off and, um, bought a bunch of things, came home, got on that Blackstone and hibachied. He was just hibachiing all over the place. And, um, shared it with his friends and he he just he's like mr t he loves to experiment he loves to cook and uh, he loves that blackstone and y'all i'm excited next wednesday a week from tomorrow they're supposed to pour the concrete foundation for a little outdoor room out there to put the blackstone in so he he can cook under a covered place Elizabeth, Elizabeth, are you watching me or are you texting me, girlfriend? <laughs> hey, I'm live. <laughs> You're so funny. Okay, so we could work with our little, let me pull it back a little bit. You know, we could start adding these little vintage pieces. We don't want, we're going to go more. I don't know. I'm just playing. Okay, hold on. I like that. I want that little piece of chain. Where do I want to cut it? We're going to layer this one, I think. <laughs> yeah, he didn't throw any bad eggs last night while he was out there, thank goodness. <laughs> Oh, 
that's fun. All right, let's see if I can just go. Jerry, it's a, I just, I just think Mr. T deserves that. And, uh, you know, we could sit out there while he, I'm, I'm taking y'all along for the entire journey. Y'all are going to have to endure watching it come along because we're excited. That's not going to work. That is not going to work. It's okay. We can make it work. Give me that E6000. Oh, when the table gets like this. life crafting. <laughs> yeah, she was passing notes during class. She got caught. I don't need this all over my fingers. decide if that's what I want to put there or not. So I was kind of thinking, and this would just be kind of the beginning, but I'm not sure. See, and just have that dangling there. Hey, Gail. Hey, Iris. Um, it didn't work. Of course it's not gonna. That's E6000, Lindy. I have to sit there a minute until I put some on top of it. Um, I could also tuck this over here. What a mess! Come on, come on. Do you love it? Okay, okay, well, let me add those pieces at least because that'll hold this down. Ooh, he is hecking something up. And this kind of looks like a letter they wrote home while they're on vacation. hanging up here and I have what else how about I'll do a couple of the gears what do y'all think what did I miss oh, paying for what Click on the pink and red. Do you see those? They are new on Facebook. Yeah, I was doing the hot glue and um, and E6000, and it just the it I had to let it sit. <laughs> or okay, got the the watch, the little watch. Or, you know, we could add some Totally Dazzled to it. I don't know about that. Click on who, Melissa? I keep missing it. We could also add... Wait a minute. Let's see. Yeah, Robin, you're right. Could be. What does GG mean? What does that mean? 
the watch. Yeah, I, I think so too. Yeah, Michelle, save those paint brushes. You think it's fun, Carrie? No dazzle on that, I don't think. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So what's the GG that I see y'all do? Click on the link. Um, the pink hearts. Uh-uh, I didn't see the pink hearts. That's three times, Facebook. Three times. I was just talking along. I looked up and y'all weren't there. So, see, GG. I don't understand what that is. I, I'm, I guess I'm being stupid, but I don't know what that means. Oh, I see. These are a little thingy. Click on the red GG. Hmm. Is there a red GG on here? I don't see it. Touch the GG. I'm good going. Okay. Oh, look at this. What if I add that? So it's not just me, Regina. I don't see any things that are red. Isn't that funny? I don't see even up there. I don't see any things that are red. so stupid. Will it work when I'm... I don't see any red words in the comments. Huh. Okay, so I see a lot of hearts though. So I'm going to go with with this. Okay, I'm going to go with that. This time I am using hot glue and E6000 on this piece of metal. Where do I keep putting my E6000? As long as it's something nice, I don't mind. I just I think my, this is nice. Is it something bad that I'm doing? I don't know. Isn't that fun, Michelle? I think that's so fun. It kind of goes along with this picture where there's, they're all at the beach having fun, olden days. Oh, this one's fun, isn't it? I'm going to add that piece to the top. Oh, how fun. This one needs to go in a shadow box. Well, they both do. I think they both should go in a shadow box. I hope that squeal was for this. Y'all, I'm missing out on the GG, Lindy, in the comments when you see XO, XO and pink. Mine are not pink. They're not red. They're not pink. Oh, that's cool. Well, at least y'all can see it. I'll try it on Elizabeth's live. I'll be on there next. Now I've got to I've got to have all the paint brushes because this is too fun. I just want to make these all the time. 
I love that. I really, really love that. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> Had to do it. Elizabeth calls it the money shot. Wait, let me get my other one. Did you get it? <laughs> Do y'all have a favorite? I kind of love them both. They're so different. But now I just want to make a whole bunch of them. I've even thought, how fun would it be to take that paper clay and mold a face right here so it's 3d and when it dries then you paint that face tanya face painter do it that would be so cute do it this way though so it could be his hair that would be the hair wouldn't that be so cute i need to try that too but um yeah all it takes is just looking around your craft supply and grabbing your old paint brushes and start adding things to it and you get a piece of art you could have a whole wall with all different paint brushes hanging up. That'd be pretty cool. Just paint a face on it. Yeah. The girly, oh, diamond dust. Yes, let's do it. Let's do that because I'm having too much fun and I'm not ready to stop yet. Um, just diamond dust a little, yeah, right through there. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, thank you so much. Y'all are so sweet. This is, oh, this is like playing. This is so fun. Oh, six that spell create. That would be really, really great. And you know what? I could get, wait a minute. Oh, see, y'all have my brain going. Let me, let me show you. Oh my goodness. I have an idea. <laughs> an idea okay let me sprinkle this and let me go get it real quick and then i'm gonna let, cut y'all loose so you get a little break before elizabeth comes on and get your pennies together for uh lee lexi creations auction too that's uh, that is so pretty look at it all can you see the sparkle on it now Oh, there he goes. Look how sparkly. That just took it up a notch. Okay, so let me let me get this real quick because I want to, I'm a visual person. I've got to see how this is, might look. Oh, wait, I've got another idea. So I got this on clearance. I showed it to you at Hobby Lobby uh, because I thought it'd be a good surface. But this would be perfect to, you know, paint, of course, paint this background and hang a set of the three of these on there. This, that's dried. It'll be all right. I'll get that off without it getting the diamond dust messy. I promise that was from Saturday. So three paint brushes would fit right across here and you could do, you could do a cool scrap paper background or just paint it a solid color so they would stand out you know so you could display them and let me let me see what this looks like oh if i had a three inch brush now check this out this was a this is a goodwill right now this was rummage sale this was that church rummage sale but if you had a three inch brush and decorated it up and put it on a mirror, a pretty mirror. What do you think? Did you get to see all my boys, see how they came flying in? But you could just mount it, I could put it on, on a mirror to display it. Is that stupid? I think it's kind of fun and different, but I want the brush to be more substantial. I want a wider um, three inch brush, but I think I might do that because I've just been holding this, nothing, it hadn't spoken to me yet. I kind of like it the way it is. But then again, I wanted to do something different with it. So 
anyway, that's what I might do. Okay, y'all, get creating with your brushes. I want to see ribbons and feathers and all fun stuff on yours and see how many different ways y'all can redo some paint brushes. I'm going to be making a ton of these. These are too fun. Yes, Patty, we're going to be praying for you. Libby, we're praying for healing for you. You do like that, Cindy? I think I really like that. I have such a mess to clean up now. The picking up and putting away is not the fun stuff. But before I do, I might make another one. <laughs> uh, says put a brush on me. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So I'll I'll be looking at paint brushes differently now, and I'll be looking at Goodwill and clearance items differently to see how I could use those in with some of these brushes. I think that's fun. I may still do one. In fact, the next one I do, I may make one of these little medallions out of the paper clay and put it on a paintbrush. Ideas. So I hope y'all enjoyed this, and I hope it, I hope it spurred your creativity um, and get your juices going and you're ready to uh, make some. Oh, good. Okay, I had the best time. I wasn't having the greatest day, but an hour with y'all is like the greatest medicine for me. So, thank you very, very much for spending your time with me. I know how precious time is. Um, so, I'm going to go and be sure to uh, meet me over at Ellie's Attic at 545. I'll be back um, Thursday if you're in my owl paint party. This guy right here. Um, I'll be painting him at 1 o'clock Thursday in the group. Uh, and then I'll be back here with y'all doing something fun, hopefully, at 4 o'clock. Okay? All right. Y'all have a great evening. Bye.